So many times I laid her down, but she yes. never holds that against me, not one time. That's what true love is. Yeah. You know, a father's love is unconditional. Yeah. You know, that's what the book says. He loved me enough to die for me. I'm so thankful that he did. I'm thankful that he made that way. You know, I don't have to uh, depend on somebody else uh, for atonement for my sins. You know? He made that great access that I could just go in and I could freely ask him for forgiveness. But I appreciate everything that he's done for me. Thank you, Lord. I come looking for something good to happen today. That's what he did. I woke up with my heart just plug full this morning. I tell you, it's all good by him. I don't have that old stony heart and no. that I used to have. It's not in there anymore. It's all going away. I'm thankful that, that one of these days when I close my eyes and I'll truly start to live again. That's when my life's going to really begin. When I can actually see him and thank him for what he's done for me. Uh, I'll probably just become the latest thing to God and we just come around. There won't be no tears following, but I, I tell you, if I could just look up to him and just tell him thank you. But I tell you, he's gave me a song that I'll be able to sing. I ain't got a clue. Amen. Yeah. Bless the Lord. It's good to be here this morning. It truly is. I hope Amen. I can see someone say this yes. morning. Yes. Yeah, that's my yeah. prayer. It'll be good. Amen. Bless your Lord. Bless your Lord.
things there. I was thinking that Paul gave a testimony there about being perfect. I brought back to mind Marty a message that Jason and I could have preached one time about the cloud. I was sitting here thinking that tree was saying that song. You might not always be on top of that mountain, but we should be climbing at times too. We should enjoy that climb up. I don't know if you've ever hunted or climbed a mountain or anything. Bless it's hard going up. But every step you take, you get a little higher. Yeah. You know, the easy part about that is coming off of that. Amen. It's easy to walk down the hill and sit up before you know that you're yeah, to the bottom. But when you're in that climb, and when you get to the top, you'll appreciate what yeah. you come to. Yeah. It gets that far. I desire my walk to be up that yeah. mountain like Moses was. Lord. When he came off that mountain, there was a smile about oh, his yeah. face. But they had to hide his face because yeah. people couldn't look upon him. You, That's what I want my walk to be. Yeah. Not for me to be seen, dirty, yeah. not by no means. I'd much rather, anybody that knows me knows I'd much rather be hiding in a corner. But then God would get the glory for what he's done in my life. It's not about me. Follow me a day, Mike. And you'll say, boy, that fanboy fails a lot. But the cloud that's inside of me is the one that I want to work on. This flesh, Marty said it Wednesday night, is going right back to the dust it came from. I'm not worried about this old flesh. But that inward man ought to feed every once in a while. Yes, yes, so so he's is. able to climb a little yes. bit. Why? Because those that are standing around us yeah, lost needs to see something yes. different about us. Yes. If they see the same thing in us that they see in the world, why would they want it? Why would they? Let's a little something different. Show them how our walk lines up with our top. Then they'll want something like that. But if we're no different than that world, then we're leaving it. Shame on us. Yes. Yes. But I appreciate the climb. Yes. Every step gets us all a little bit closer. Yes. Yes. Appreciate the Lord. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I just kind of go on with what Ben said this morning. A friend of mine yesterday texted me and she said she just needed some encouragement. She was just aggravated and mad. And I said, you know, it's okay to do that. We're human. Yeah, it's okay. Amen. 
That's right. If I can't love you, then it ain't nothing wrong with you. It's me. Amen. 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 Amen.
pray for you to uh, tell yours this morning. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but I, pro- I do know this. It will be a help. Amen. It will be a blessing. Yes. 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 If you tell it, I yes. can't tell it. Uh-huh. 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 My pastor can't tell it. Uh-huh. 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 The Sunday school teacher uh-huh. can't tell it. Uh-huh. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours. Personal it's thing this morning. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Evidently somebody hadn't read Genesis 821. <laughs> Bless you all. He said, Winter, summer, rain, and cold Amen. will not cease. Right. It'll never cease. Amen. God put everything in its place just like it's supposed to be. Amen. But I'll tell you what is causing the coldness in this country. Right. It's lavishness. Yeah. He didn't high mindedness. Yeah. Self will puffed up. Yes. Even denying there is a God. Right. That will separate you. you know? yes, yes. That's what's happened in this in this country today. Yeah. People have are spending more time, they believe, in the science or technology. Come on. I'm gonna tell you something. A man that forgets God yes. will surely die. Yes. And he'll die a thousand deaths. Come on. And a Christian that forgets God. He'll die spiritually. Yeah. He won't get blessed anymore. He won't feel the presence of God anymore right. until he repents. Right. And repentance is one thing that people don't want to hear about today. Right. But without it, you have no walk with God. That's, it. That's just plain and simple. You go home and read Genesis 8 21. They, they blow us, blow the warming all out of proportion. Come on. Like it's a it's a, a, a thing of doom. Right. Unbelief is a thing of doom. Amen. Amen. That's it. When you don't believe in God right. and you Amen. die in that condition, yeah. there is no hope for you. Amen. 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 There's not a place called purgatory, no. uh, contrary to public, uh, public and popular opinion. Yeah. Purgatory does not exist. Amen. It's either heaven or hell. Amen. It's either God or Satan. Amen. Choose today who you're going to serve. Right. Right. It's up to you. Your, your destination is totally completely in your hands. Yes, sir. But once you put your faith and trust in God, it's secure forever. Yes. Uh -huh. Blessing, Lord. I've seen people die that was ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. And I've seen people die that wasn't ready to go. Blessing. Come on, my. Screaming and at the top of their lungs. They don't want to go to that place. Yes. Yes. But hell is just as real as heaven. Yes. Right. And I'll never go to that place. No. Not yet. I'll never fear death anymore. I've been that I've been at death's door. Come on. For a child of God, it's not nothing frightful. No. It's a welcome. Yeah. It's a release. It, brother. <laughs> it's a welcome expression of the love of God. When you feel that total peace. Bless There's nothing compared to it. <laughs> and that's the peace you can have this morning if yeah. you accept Christ that's as your right. Savior. That's right. Yes. Don't let the fake news and the, and the world tell you yeah. that there is no hope because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh to the Father except by me. Hope ain't going to get it done for you. The bishops ain't going to get it done for you. No. There's only one way. Yes, Jesus yes, said, I am the way, the truth, true. and the life. <laughs> yes, sir. And besides him, there is none of no. I know that the, in Bless times you. past during the Roman era, they had Bless God you. that they served, the, great, the goddess Diana, Come the on. goddess of fertility, and all Bless these different you. things. Uh -huh. They even made insignias to them. And they made, had a living made out of it. Come on, my. Some of them tried to, tried to, uh, Compete themselves with Paul when he was casting out demons. Yes, yes. They said, we're going to cast you out. The demon, the demon answered him and said, who are you? Bless he him. said, Paul we know. Yeah, and Jesus Christ we know. But who are you? Yeah. Who are you? <laughs> what authority do you have to tell me to do anything? Bless him. Bless him. Right. But in the name of Jesus, the Bible said demons will will bow. Yeah. Yeah. And it's the time of his coming, he said, all knees shall bow and every tongue shall confess. Yes. Yes. The Bible said there'll even be a time when he'll run to the rocks and the mountains yeah. Yeah. and fight, cry for them to follow on them, to hide them from the face of him that sits on the throne. Yeah. Yeah. We're talking about a world event. Come on, yeah. When he comes, yeah. everything yeah. else is going Bless to Lord. take a back seat. Yeah. 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 Bless Bless Stars are going to fall from the heavens. Uh -huh. The Bible said that the earth would melt with the fervent heat. Come People don't believe that today. But he did, he did tell us. He said, before that great and noble day, yeah. there'll come a great falling away. The people of America is falling away. Yeah. From, its, from its
its roots from its from its heritage. Yeah. Come on, man. There's a reason that the Bible. Uh, there's a reason that the money on our on our coin says, "In God we trust." Yeah. It ain't anymore. Yeah. Bless mm -hmm. They don't trust God anymore. Nope, sir. No, sir. And the money is coming. Yes, yes, sir. Worldwide, worldwide panic. Amen. It's coming. Bless him, Lord. For those that are ready, yeah. 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 For those that are not, the Bible said they'll run to the rocks and the mountains uh -huh. yeah. to hide from yeah. them that set them here from him that sets them on the uh, from on the throne. Come on, Bless but there'll be no hiding place. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what's even worse? The devil himself yeah. will be cast into the lake. Dead one hell, and hell, the Bible says death and hell will deliver up the dead which are in them, Bless and they'll be Lord. cast alive into the lake of fire. It's hell's not dead. They're still down there screaming. The rich man's still in pain. Want that one drop of water. Come on, And there's people there today that would, would wish to give their everything that they own or everything that they ever own for another chance at mercy. But once that, that once that death angel comes and you're lost, when that door slams shut, there'll be no more mercy for you. None at all. The question is, I guess today, what do you want? Yeah. You want bondage or freedom? Blessing. What's our nation want? Bondage or freedom? Blessing. It's up to you. Amen. Choose today whom you're going to serve. Yes, sir. If you choose to serve the devil, I can tell you the end result of that. Amen. Serve the destruction. Amen. If you choose Christ, yeah. you have life. Because in him is life. There's no shadow of turning in him. Uh, it's not political. A lot of people in politics, they want to change their mind to go along with the crowd or what's possible. There's no changing in him. Either you're saved or you're lost. Amen. Amen. Well, I'm in between, do you? No, no. You're not in between. You're either saved or you're lost. You're either happy or you're miserable. Amen. Amen. Yeah, well, you can take that to the bank. Amen. There's nothing you can do about it. Amen. But the priest's word is the most important thing in this world. Bless you, I'm not talking about priest theory. I preached ideas. I'm talking about the priest's word is the most important thing. Because it will set me you free. It set me free. And it will set you free. Oh, yes. Everything else is lies and hypocrisy. But in him we have lies. We got a request, Marty. Bless you, sir. Who that yonder in the distance with the
these songs that's been sung this morning and I'm telling you it's been a joy to be in his house but I'd like for just a little bit more right. amen to come my way I, I know God's got it today he's got an endless supply Jeremy he certainly does this morning and I just want to be willing to do my little part today and amen and uh, be able just to be a part of that of his service this morning for he is uh, worthy today he certainly is worthy travis is the lamb yeah. man of god amen morning. amen, amen. Today. And we hear yeah. and just hear me say all the time and i can't Bless help but know how my i can amen how the uh, the creation the things he's created in this world and i love to hear the little birds just uh, right. saying to him i really yeah. do this morning sometimes they 
sing soul warmers for they really do Mike and yeah. I really enjoy hearing them amen, amen. praise the Lamb and that of the God today and uh, so I won't be before praise you Lord. Lord. Uh, very long this morning and I just want to do my little praise part praise today praise. Mike and uh, to just praise the uh, Lamb and that of God and I'm going to read this scripture very familiar we've heard uh, preached from before and I've uh, preached from it several times myself Jeremy along my life's way today I certainly have a, a very familiar scripture this morning and I want you to just listen to the uh, reading and that of God's word today that it might help us and uh, uh, this morning to realize amen how real things are today in our hearts and our lives this morning I want you to listen to uh, this is the reading. I'll tell you where it is in just in a minute. In flaming fire taketh vengeance on them that knoweth not God. And they that obey not the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord from his, the glory of of his power. Yes. If you want to read that in Second Thessalonians uh, this morning, the first chapter in that uh, uh, reading this morning, you can find that uh, today. Uh, uh, so I want to do my best this morning that for him, for his sake, just a little while today. Uh, we'll be able this morning. Uh, Travis to rightly yes, divide Lord. the word and that of God this morning. I, I, I really do. I read that before we come over this Lord. way. Uh, this morning, we in various places. Uh, uh, this morning, before we come over this way to this sea, uh, you know how good God really is this morning, Mike. And uh, we say that sometimes. Uh, uh, how you can look today in that uh, in God's word and then just in a little while, hour or two later, uh, you can read the same thing and uh, God will just be able to uh, praise yeah. God, open it up to you yeah, just a little Lord. bit and uh, now I'll just allow you to see a, a few things in it as we go along this way. Uh, but as Paul's writing here, he wrote this. And uh, Lord, what I thought, God, he had to have a vision for him. Amen. To write something like this down, Travis. And, amen. That we know today that, that we've already heard from Mike this morning that uh, hell surely is an awful place to go. And, uh, there ain't but two places. Is, uh, for a soul and that of a man, woman, boy, or girl uh, to go to today. It's either heaven or uh, hell today. But as he wrote it down here this morning, uh, uh, brother, that the flames of uh, uh, that of hell's gates this morning, Mike, uh, uh, would take vengeance out on those uh, uh, that don't know the Lord today uh, in the free part of sin. And I'd like to be able just for a minute or two uh, uh, to just get this over to us real uh, uh, plain like today uh, after all these things that uh, uh, goes on in this whole world uh, uh, today we've got to realize something uh, uh, that the flames and that of hell uh, uh, will take vengeance on our loved ones today, Jeremy, on those that don't know him as we do today. I'm glad I can stand before you this morning and say that I know him through his mercy today is how I met him many years ago. Uh, but listen today, uh, the flames, uh, amen, I just can't really uh, describe them this morning, uh, how awful a torment of plays uh, uh, that it's going to be uh, a church today uh, for those that don't know him. Uh, and this morning, you've got to know him uh, to escape this place. I uh, called hell this morning. I'm glad today, Jeremy, that they'll never take vengeance uh, not, not upon me. Uh, the flames of hell, my, uh, they'll never wrap around me uh, as it does uh, uh, folks that we've heard this morning uh, already uh, today that it's uh, uh, wrapping around the rich man uh, that's there today uh, till still beggar uh, for just one little drop of that of water and a coolish tongue today. And we need to realize as God 
God's people this morning. It ain't a fairy tale that those that don't know Him that will wind up there today. Amen. The morning, Travis. But I'm telling you, the morning we need to have this vision in our hearts and our minds today. Amen. To the flames of wrapping around him. Of my and the pain and the torment. Amen. They'll ever be forever and forevermore. They'll be there. Amen. This morning we know today through the word that we read. Amen. As we mentioned the old rich man that's there today still crying still begging not just for a little draw out of coolies for a minute time in the flames mine that's still wrapping around him and other people that's there passionate and biting on one another amen surely today that we've got to know and realize uh, without a vision uh, our people will wind up there uh, the devil does not care uh, how to take our loved ones uh, he certainly does not mind but there was one uh, on Calvary's hill uh, that shed his blood Jeremy uh, that they wouldn't have uh, to go to this place, amen, and die, and never die. Let me just take my time just a minute, amen, if you will. But I want us today to realize, amen, the flames of today's are very real. Amen, just as real as heaven's gates is going to be, Jeremy. This morning you see, amen, I believe we know and we read through the rich man, amen, that the torments started pretty early. Amen, it's printed out that I can see there was many travels. It wasn't just the flames. Uh, that he was tormented in. Blessing, Lord. Amen. But it was the vision that he had to. Uh, amen. Of the uh, uh, being covered uh, in Lazarus' bosom today. Uh, but him being tormented in the flames and out of hell today. Amen. This morning, uh, uh, so we know, we realize uh, uh, that will be uh, their punishment uh, uh, for all. Uh, amen. Being a believer uh, in the name uh, of that of Jesus. Uh, today, I say this quite often, that uh, there really is something uh, about that name today. Uh, amen. Uh, the, just the mere mention uh, of that of his name today. Uh, but I want us to know and realize uh, they'll be there as that will be. Their punishment of going through this swamp way of life, of going over everything that Christ did on Calvary, of their the empty tomb. They'll go over all of those things, and that will be of their punishment for not having Jesus in their heart and in their life today. This morning is there still not a cause today for me and you amen to do and know as we know to do. Amen my that we might show them there is a better way. Amen there is somebody that called Jesus to danger is still reaching out to his spirit and his power yes. to save those that are lost. Yes. We've heard several this morning 
Amen. How God came through and saved their dying soul this morning. Amen. Even though I was a nine-year-old boy, I was still lost and dying without hope. Amen. He brought hope unto the hopeless. Praise God. And gave me life. And gave me peace. You know why? Because some good man of God, amen, sounded a trumpet mic, amen, and I heeded to his warning. I believed of the word and not what it said, amen, I applied it to my heart and my life, and I got saved because I didn't want to die and go to a devil's hell. I didn't get saved. What heaven had. I still, to this day, just don't really know what lies over yonder mark. I don't really know what's really laid up for me. And you don't either this morning. For eyes not seen, ears not heard. Neither is it entered to the hearts. Amen. What God's got prepared. But we do know one thing. Amen. Those that die lost, that will be their punishment. And the flames will wrap around them, Jeremy. Amen. They'll forever be there. I don't want nobody to die in their sins and go to a devil's hell today. Amen. And be there separated from the power and the love of an almighty God. Amen. We know this morning that Mike, when that separator comes, that their soul will forever be fixed there. That we better make sure and make preparations that we know where we're headed today. Amen. Amen. We really should. Amen. We say this often. Amen. We shouldn't want to leave here today, Jeremy. But we've done and know to do all that we know to do. Amen. I didn't come for my own benefit today. But I come on behalf of those that are lost and dying without hope. That they might get just a little glimpse of Jesus in my heart today. Amen. It ain't about you. And it ain't about me today. Amen. It certainly is not. But so I'm glad of the swarm of the flames that'll never take vengeance out on me, my out on my soul. Because I worked out my own salvation. With fear and trembling. Hey man, I'm telling you, and you can work your own out here today, right now. Hey man, at this very instant. Hey man, you can have your heart fixed today. As it's been mentioned, that you can take the a stony heart out and give you a heart of love today. That's what he can do. Amen. Just for you uh, today. Amen. This morning. Uh, so what I'm trying to tell you. If you never decide uh, to be saved. If you never. Uh, amen. Listen to the voice. Uh, and uh, uh, never heed to the drawing power. Uh, that of God. Uh, the flames uh, will take vengeance on you. Uh, for doing this disobedient thing. Amen. 
They certainly will. Hey, man, you won't be loved there. You won't be wanted there in that awful place. Called hell today. Hey, man, there'll be no peace for you there. There'll be no torment a day or two and be over. But it'll be for an eternity. Praise God this morning. Why would anybody want to go there? I have no idea this morning why they would go there. Amen today. And Lord, let me just get to that last one. And I promise you, I'll hush this morning. But listen to me, church. Amen. We know who the reading and that of his word. When the rich man got there and he seen he couldn't give just a little draw at a coolie's tongue. Amen. He got concerned about those on the other side. He said, I've got brothers. Send somebody back That's to warn them my, that not to come here. Amen this morning. And so I'm telling you today that we need as God's people to sound the trumpet and tell those to flee from that awful place this morning. Amen. Amen today. I know it's not mentioned very much today. It certainly is not. But I'm telling you, it's just as real as heaven is this morning. Amen today. And me and you, as God's people, if they ever see Christ, they'll have to see it through me and see it through you. They'll have to hear about Jesus through you. And through me also uh, today, uh, we've got to warn them uh, to flee, or the flames will take vengeance and that out on them. And then they'll be there for an eternity. Uh, this morning, uh, and which is the thing uh, not about it. Hey, Amen. For we know the word says, uh, uh, be ye all so ready uh, in any hour. Uh, uh, you think not uh, uh, the sun uh, uh, that a man will come. Uh, hey, Amen. My uh, uh, so is for me uh, and my house. Uh, just let him come. Uh, Lord Jesus, come quickly. Amen. Amen. This morning, it could be very uh, any hour, uh, just any minute, uh, that he could return my. Uh, what's he coming after? He's coming after the redeemed. He's coming after the saved. Those that's been washed in the blood. And that of the Lamb today. He's not coming back to steal nothing. He's not coming to set a, a kingdom up here. But it's already been set up. And it's in my heart today. It certainly is. So I'm glad today to be able to stand before you and declare to you, amen, that you might ought to seek Jesus before the service comes to a close. Because the death angel could be right around the corner and calling out you today. Amen. Amen. Bless him, Lord. Amen. 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 Amen this morning. And I'm telling you, that's one thing that we're going to have to face. Each and every one of us. That's under the sound of my voice. Amen. You know it's coming, don't you? Staying here, it ain't an option. You can't stay here. There'll be nothing here when this day comes in our hearts and our lives today. Amen. Uh, so let me uh, uh, this finish up real quickly. Uh, uh, today, uh, amen, those that fail to come to knowing uh, that power, uh, that love, they'll be saved.
separated from. I praise God I'll be there continuously forever. I'm wrapped up in his love today. I certainly will, Travis. Amen today. And those, amen, that fail to do so, I believe they'll be able, like the rich man did, amen, look right into the portals of glory and see the comfort and see the love that I'm surrounded in. See me round the, the throne of God. <laughs> Sing it, oh, Hosanna, forever and forevermore, my amen. amen. And no, amen, that'll be part of their punishment, amen, to they failed to seek the Lord, seek Him while it can be found. You know, if you're seeking people today, they'll find it exactly. What I found, because he's not changed, not one bit, he still, amen, loves, amen, this whole world today, amen, and he proves it to me every day, Jeremy, amen, that God so loved the world. That he gave yeah. his only begotten. Amen. We hear that testimony around here. Uh -huh. I just couldn't do it. Amen. And neither could you Amen. give up one of yours for this whole world today. Blessing, Lord. Blessing, Lord. He did. Amen. I'm glad you boys didn't get up. Amen. This morning. And so today, amen, we need to realize, amen, that heaven is still yet for them to gain. And hell is a place that they should shun. This whole world is caught up in itself, my, and they don't even realize what kind of vengeance, what kind of torment is waiting on those journey that don't know God. I'm glad I just don't know him, but I'm a part of him today. Amen. 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 I'm telling you this morning that there's none like him today. Amen. Amen. This morning because Lord. we're all, our righteousness is as Lord. filthy rights Lord. today. Lord. It certainly is this morning. Lord. But he's seen fit, Jeremy. He's seen something that he was going to call one of his own. Rich down. You know what he did for me, Travis? You would heard me say, and you said the same thing. I didn't know how to pray, but he lended me his ear anyway and heard my humble cry. Amen. And saved my dying soul. And so therefore, I'm forever in debt and not in to him. One more time, Mark. I did want to die and go to a devil's hell. Amen. Bless you, Lord. Amen. And be separated. Amen. From his love for eternity. Can we get that today? and realize, amen, how awful a place hell is going to be today. That his love, amen, that his power, without that drawing power, there'll never be another one. Come to the throne and that of grace. Because I'm just old-fashioned. Amen. They've got to be drawn yes. by the Spirit and power and that of God. Amen. 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 This morning, they can't sign enough cards Amen. in this world. Amen. They can't repeat enough prayers to get their mind. Amen. This morning, it's got to be their own prayer yeah. today. Amen. One more time. I'm glad you asked me, what did you pray? I did 
ain't know what I prayed. Amen. Amen. Far as I know, my mouth never moved, but my heart cried out, Amen. and yours will have to do the same. Amen. To get out of the devil's hell today. Amen. He knows. Uh, today he does. Uh, amen. Uh, there was one, uh, amen, uh, just a few days ago, my, uh, amen, that comes here, promised me, uh, amen, she was going to get it. I said, you promised me you're going to get it, that you'll see him. Uh, amen. That little head is naughty. Uh, yeah, so I'm telling you today, uh, amen. Uh, Woo! Amen. I'm just glad that I can sound the trumpet and warn them to flee from the devil's hell today. Amen. 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 To flee from that awful place. Called hell today. Amen. I'm glad I'm not going there. Amen. I'm glad and I'm tickled to death that I don't have to go. Amen. All because through him. Amen. And you know, to this day, I am what I am by the grace of that of God. Well, what are you? I'm just a sinner. Amen. I'm just a sinner saved by God. Yeah. Anything on the outside you're looking at, it ain't worth a nickel. But on the inside, woo, that's where it lies today. He lives on the inside. He don't live in this flesh. Because he lives with on the inside. That's out of my heart. Amen. I hope he does yours. Amen. I really do. Amen. Lord, if you could just do. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. You'd be so glad. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. To know that heaven was going to be your home today. Amen. You can just do. In your heart, amen, this morning. Preacher, how did I do that? I'm just going to tell you. Well, yes. amen. amen, amen. Your little heart's got to be broken. Amen. You've got to have a contrite spirit. Amen, this morning. If you've got that, he'll know why turn you away today. But he'll accept you as one of his own, Amen. as one of his children. Amen. The man of God today. Amen. I'm glad this morning Amen. to be one of his. Amen. I certainly am. Amen. Sometimes, Travis, I just get beside myself when I really get to thanking Mike of what all he's done for me. Amen. And what yet he's still going to do for me. I I've already told you, he's let me stand right here and just watch and listen to you and just let him bless you as he does. And I've just got about here and about there. Amen, my. So now, uh, this morning, surely you don't want uh, to die and go to a devil's hell today. Surely you're not going to go through this walkway of life and go through everything that he did for you on Calvary. Amen. And not become one of his own. If that's your decision today, you better live your days. Amen. Like they're going to be your lives. You better enjoy every minute that you've got down here. Amen. Amen. For one day he will call yes. and every knee will bow Amen. and every tongue will confess this morning. I'm glad over at Luttrell Baptist oh, Church I already confessed him as my Savior, Amen. my friend, and my God today. Amen. Amen. I wish that you would do the Amen. same. Amen. I know he put that same happiness. Yes. 
yeah. and peace yeah. within yeah. your heart. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. You yeah. don't yeah. really know what love and peace yeah. is yeah. until yeah. you get here yeah. yeah. this morning. I'm yeah. telling you, yeah. Yeah. amen, yeah. we've heard this before. Yeah. You can go down the road skipping rejoicing yeah. Yeah. because your name's recorded yeah. Yeah. in the Lamb's Book of Life. When this world is crumbling all around us, I can still go down the road rejoicing because of Him. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And here is the world's seeking peace and safety. Amen. They're trying to find happiness here, find happiness there, and they won't find it. Amen. They certainly will not until they call on the Lamb. And that of Jesus. Lord, amen Lord. this morning. Blessing so Lord. I've had a wonderful time yeah. trying to Lord. tell somebody yes. to flee. The flames amen. will take vengeance on you. Yes. Amen. If Blessing you don't have Jesus in your heart. Yes. And you know what? There ain't, won't be one thing I or anybody else can do in that about it. Amen. 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 Uh, this morning, it's it's entirely up to you uh, today uh, to work your own salvation out. Uh, uh, not get your song uh, ready today. Uh, amen. Amen. Why don't we just uh, uh, have church for just a little while uh, today? Uh, amen. Well, you say it's been pretty good uh, already this morning. Well, I know one thing. It could always be a little better. Amen. Uh, this morning, so that starts with me. And it starts with you today. Amen. Uh, the birds. Amen. They've been praising him, Bubba. Since daybreak this morning. And I'll assure you if you open that door back there, they're still at it. <laughs> they're still praising him. Amen this morning. Woo! They neither reap or so, but they're provided good, pretty good throughout the year. They're provided for. Pretty good. You know what? I have to say he's provided pretty well for me. Through this year. You're here today, I know you want him so bad. Amen. Would you use that little measure of faith that you've got that he's dealt to every man? You've got it already. I'll find it to you in the book of Romans. Read it to you. How he's dealt every man, Jim, just a little measure of faith. With that little measure you've got, if you'll cry out to him with a broken heart, he'll reach down, he'll get you. Amen. Dear Lord, bless him, Lord. Could you trust him today? Could you today take that little step of faith? Come to where he is in this dying little while. Let him fix what needs fixing. Yeah. <laughs> Let him mend what needs mending today. Yes, in your heart and your yes, life. Lord, as some has said around here, I've pictured it myself. I've seen you come. I've seen the joy that he's brought to you. But you're going to have to move. You'll have to move. I'll show you one thing before I let you. I'll never come and drag you. I'll never say come, come with me right now. You'll have to come on your own. You certainly will. Boy, I've told you and told you. Been the best move I ever made. Been the best decision in my life. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to have him today? Won't you just come out of there? I see you peeking up this way. He does too. He knows you want it. You 
picture it yourself. Would you come? Just pile out there. Come to him with that one broken heart. If you don't, I'll preach to you this morning what's going to take place. What your punishment will be.
only a friend. He's my dearest friend. Yes. 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 Certainly he is. I hope he is yours. Anybody yes. got anything on your heart? Something you want to do or say? Bless. Marty, I appreciate the message tonight. Yeah, bless I, I didn't mean anything when I said it left me. I just felt yeah. like God was going another way. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want anybody to take that wrong. But as you were preaching, and I appreciate I the, 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 call, the calling out. And yeah. Paul went out, and yes. God knows what would happen if one of us other men. You know what I'm saying? Right. That, that's not the point I'm trying to get to. The uh, God reminded me of something Bless back on 9/11 when all that happened. When my oldest was just in uh, elementary school, Bless down at the Tennessee Lord. Museum, they had a uh, like a thing that you they had the school come in and they watched all the the different things, and they had pieces of the steel from that. And yes. I'm trying to get to a point, uh, Jeremy, Bless but they had all these different things, Bless and all these fourth graders were there. And, at the end of it, they had uh, they put a, a clip together to have them watch a little movie about all the different things that happened in the building fall, and everybody was great. There was no black, there was no white. Everybody was great from the ashes. And, and right near the end of it, there was a, a, a woman that she was just walking through the streets saying, "Help me, Jesus! Help me, Jesus!" And, and after the the, the the video was over, which I was surprised they put that in there, but yeah, at the video was over, the, the lady that was over it all, she said, does anybody have any questions? And I said, ma'am, could I ask them a question? And she said, absolutely. And, and I said something, and at the end of it, I said, now, remember the woman. She said that, help me, Jesus, help me, Jesus. I said, why do you think that she said that? Yeah. And I'm coming to a point, Marla, but I said, why do you think that she said that? And and all the kids just kind of, they would say different things, but this one little boy all the way in the back wouldn't even lift his head up, and he, he stuck his hand up, and I said, young man, why do you think that? He said, because nobody else could help. <laughs> Amen. 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 You see, you know why the gospel went out this morning? Because he's the only one that can help you. Are you hearing me today? Lord, what the Bible says through the foolishness of preaching, God himself chose to save sinners through the preached word of God. Are you hearing me? No one else could help but Jesus. I don't know why you didn't come this morning. I have no idea. I don't know if it's pride. I don't know if maybe this is the first time you've ever heard it. But I'm telling you, I used to be an infidel. I used to be an atheist. Didn't believe God existed. And now I preach his gospel. Why do I do that? Because nobody else, Jeremy, could help me but Jesus. I hope that goes home with you tonight. I hope that troubles you tonight. Yeah. Yeah. I really yeah. do. Yesterday while I was sitting at home with some yeah. music. And you know, I know times are changing. Yeah. They're all, always, always going to change. Until it comes to the end. Yeah. 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 That don't mean we have to. Right. Right. You know, the most important person that's ever been in this world is God. Yeah. Yeah. He's never changed. Back through the years, God has never changed. Never. Always he's been the same. Yeah. What's that say? Right. Everybody sits here and says, well, you got to change. No, no. God's never changed. No. Not, nothing has God ever done that's changed. That's it. 2,000 years ago, he believed that he, he did things one that's way. He does it the same today. Why right. can't we do that? Right. I know times, sometimes... Things change, and sometimes you have to do things a little different. But the way we serve Him does not have to change. There's nothing wrong with being old-fashioned. Nothing. It's a good way. God's old-fashioned. The only way. But people say, "Well, we got new." There ain't no. There's nothing to this new modern way. No. I'm sorry. No. I'm not going to argue with nobody about it. No. As far as I'm concerned, there's nothing to it. Amen. If you don't want to live it. The old-fashioned way, just go your own way. <laughs> you know, if you're not here to see somebody saved, yeah. yes, sir. Come on, Come on, Come on. Amen. 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 Don't let me cross